to find out what it'll take to clinch a playoff spot, you have to look at the teams at the bottom of the table. That's what we're going to do right here. These are the teams that if the playoffs started today, they would be out. This right column represents the total number of points a team could end up with this season. That is if they win the rest of their games this season. So it's as simple as this. If none of these teams can catch FC Cincinnati, they would clinch. Right now, four of them still can. Those three and Miami. But let's say Cincinnati wins this Wednesday. Their current point total would become 57. That means several of these teams would then no longer be able to catch FC Cincinnati in the standings. Charlotte would be the only one, but they play Wednesday as well. Let's say they lose to a good Orlando team. Their possible point total drops to 56, which means they could no longer catch FC Cincinnati and FC Cincinnati would be in. Now there are other scenarios and it's still way early here. The reality is it's going to happen at some point. The question is, will it happen on Wednesday? Head coach Pat Noonan was asked if there's any significance to the idea of clinching in August. Here's what he said. Certainly it's nice, I, I would say, from the uh, standpoint of, you know, you're in, but that was never the goal you know, to reach the playoffs at a certain point in the season. It's to be in a, uh, a spot like we're in now at the very end of it. So, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about it and appreciate getting in, but it's the positioning that uh, we're focused on. 7.30 Wednesday night in Atlanta. The MLS record for the earliest team to ever clinch, by the way, is 25 games into the season. This Wednesday will be FC Cincinnati's 26th game this year. So they are pretty much right on pace with MLS history once again.